Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. You're the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls. Let me make a quick check, make sure my chair is halfway centered behind my back because I'm obsessive that way. Thumbs up. Welcome to a brand new day. It's, what the heck day is it? Friday. Good Lord. Yesterday felt like it was a week long. My time sense is thoroughly destroyed. And I've, I talked with my therapist sort of about this sort of thing. Not about the time sense, but I'll get back to that. But my time sense is fully destroyed. I, mean, I was up semi-early from pain-related insomnia, and then I had therapy, and then later on I did a whole bunch of stuff, and then I had to take a shower. By the time it was 11 o'clock and I was getting ready for bed in here, like I said, it felt like the day had been a week long. And then, of course, pain-related insomnia. I slept very poorly last night, but because I took a caffeine tablet, when I did sleep, I slept well. So I'm tired, but not super duper tired. Thumbs up for that. Anyway, though, the big thing that I had done and I wanted to talk about some little stuff. First off, I checked on Dr. Snurf against the wall and oh, oh, the big bald patch on his back there has gotten much larger and his skin is scaly and flaky. Now the thing is though, that can also actually just be Cushing's or worse. And hamsters, unfortunately, we don't know their genetics because of them being used as lab animals and spare lab animals being given out as pets and they bred problems into the lab animals. <clears throat> so that's what was sent out to pet stores. So the genetics of hamsters is horrible. Which is awesome, and then of course the mills. Uh, my apologies, my voice box. <coughs> <coughs> but it may have Cushing's, it may be old age, it might be mites. I put a bit of like a, a fungus killing stuff, which mites aren't fungus, but hopefully that would like cover the skin and make it more difficult for them to breathe as well. Plus, if it is a fungus, you know, that would help too. Like if it was a ringworm or something. I mean, except if it's Cushing, there's nothing you can do. So, I'm, I'm hoping that it's not going to end poorly. We shall see. <sighs> but, also, I did a lot of work in here. After therapy and before I started doing this other thing, because I, I had to, had to, edit a video for my game channel but it was late getting on to that because i needed to get some work done i got tired of it being so messy in here because my floor was just covered in hamster shavings and i had too much stuff stacked in places i had a bunch of cardboard boxes i needed to get rid of it was just driving me nuts <coughs> 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 So I spent a couple hours yesterday first just getting stuff in the boxes and put away and stuff thrown away that needed to be thrown away and that and the stuff being done outward so I could get the big stuff done. And then I moved little Gojira's cage and a whole bunch of stuff out into the hall. And then I got the vacuum cleaner. After because it's Everything modern is, you know, streamlined and trimmed so that it's as cheap as possible to get it out onto the market so that they don't have to spend 15 cents on the plastic for the thing. They can spend 13 cents. It's not as good, but it's cheaper. And then that just continues. Oh, we can go from 10, you know, 12 to 10. We can go from 10 to eight. And each time they do that, things get cheaper. And so this thing clogs up easily on everything. It's got good suction, but it, it's a nice vacuum for what it is, but it's a modern vacuum. And so it clogs up with stuff like hamster bedding. So I've also got a little push thing where, you know, you push it and then the little rollers throw things up into the pans inside. So I went over the floor to get the uh, most of the solid bedding and then I completely vacuumed this side 
and then I moved everything on that side of the room out into the hall, and when the hall was full, just on this already vacuumed part of the house, house, room, and then just got that part all vacuumed. So I've got it, it looks really, really nice. I mean, already there's hamster bedding on the floor because down there behind the space heater thingy is Amelia's cat box. And she uses Aspen shavings in her box. She likes shavings. So I have to use those. And when she digs and kicks, it gets piled up around the box. And then as she walks, it gets moved around. So there's gonna be shavings all over the floor again and also from the hamsters and when i change things of course you know the stuff falls out as i'm transferring it the hider potty mouse she hikes her skirt above her head the whole seventh fleet is checking out her spread foul gas shot glass stuck to her snout thumbs up for that and my sinuses are going crazy well it's been raining like the devil lately just raining every single day and we have a forest right out there and I am allergic to leaf mold so ah oh, my sinuses it's a lot of fun <coughs> but it's all looking really really nice and I'm I, the, the only thing is I didn't move I didn't move the bookcases and so I had to use the hose type attachment to suck up all the stuff on the floor against the base and I didn't move my computer desk or computer one thing that I did do is I've had spider webs in all of the corners here, but I actually got a, a one of those things that you can drag things around. I got the spider webs out of the corners, those I couldn't get with the thing I sucked up with the vacuum cleaner. I did leave some, like down in the corner over there, there's some spider webs because I tried not to suck up the actual spiders. And they're using the web in that area. So I vacuumed and got rid of the webs around where they are and then left their little spot so the little spiders are down there and i think i got one over there and i saw a spider up there against the ceiling thing so i don't mind spiders especially since i had two cardboard boxes that had cat food in them before so they were little boxes and when i was picking them up to start moving them downstairs and break them down and put them into the recycle bin finally I looked inside, one of them had one of the tiny body, great big long leg spiders in it and I went, oh, because I didn't want to kill it. So I tried to get it to come out and I couldn't get it out of the box because I was going to get it out the window, but it, I couldn't get it out of the box. It was running around, but wouldn't, I couldn't get it out and I didn't want to hurt it. So I just took the box outside and I set it down and it's probably still inside the box if it hasn't gotten wet and melted in the rain. And then it was a different box that I was having and I picked that up and inside the web inside of that was one of the fat bodies, you know, smaller legs, but you know, dangly spider in there and I, oh no, oh no. As I don't feel responsible for them, but on the other hand, I don't want to be responsible for killing them. So I took that one outside and stacked it on top of the other box. So, yay. <laughs> it's a silly thing to do, but I feel better than just killing them. Definitely a thumbs up on that. But the room looks nice, you know, for what it is. And that's a good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. A positive thing indeed. Oh, my nose. Past that, checking on my thing over on the side because I wrote down quickly a few things on therapy yesterday. Hope he smokes. One of the things I did talk about my with my therapist was feelings of, I haven't been progressing for a while, largely since all this stuff happened, but everybody's having problems right now because of the whole we're in a fight or flight thing and there's nothing to fight and there's nowhere to flight. We're all stuck with unresolved stress. But I was also understanding, as I mentioned it, you know, maybe, you know, we take three steps forward, but that brings us two steps back at times like this. Maybe we're even going three steps forward, but four steps back. I can't feel bad about what's happening with this and not being able to progress and possibly even regressing a bit because maybe instead of 
10,000 steps along this journey of a thousand miles instead of 10,000 steps because of the tiny little regressions here and that and there. I've only got 9,600 steps in total. But you know what? That's 9,600 steps ahead of where I was just two years back. I can't, I got nothing to feel bad about there. I was gonna say I can't feel bad about that, but of course, you're a human being, you can feel bad about anything. But I got nothing to feel bad on that. <clears throat> and he was agreeing on, on all this stuff with everything that's happening right now. It's pretty much progress for everyone is on hold. Now, some of his clients are thriving right now because they are, they are total introverts. And I am mostly a, an introvert. I spend, on a good day, when I get out walkies, I still spend out of a 24 hour period, you know, I, my six hours when I'm in my bedroom trying to sleep. So that's what, 18? 18 hours here, minus normal two hours of walkies, 16 minus going to the bathroom, up and down the stairs, going to get stuff to eat. That's still like 14 hours I'm in here. Oh, but I'm a little lonesome and fine with it. Except for that two hours of walkies, because I am, after all, an extroverted introvert. I don't need to really interact with people. I just need to be around people for short bursts of time. And that recharges my psyche and helps keep me centered. When I've gone out for my walkies, that's part of what it is. I have been a part of the community because I, when I've been out walkies before, I stop and I look at stuff that is like interesting. Or I've gone into Walmart when I've gotten up there just to walk and look and see and then warm up and then go back out and walk back home. Just to be a part of the community, not to necessarily interact with anyone, but just to be out there with others. And now I can't do that, just like, you know, everybody else shouldn't be doing. And so it's... I'm not one of the introverted introverts. Being an extroverted introvert is just as bad as not being an introvert at all. Except not really, of course. Were I an extrovert, I would probably be going insane. But we shall see. We shall see. Hopefully everyone else is doing great. Past that, <coughs> excuse me, past that, just been trying to think as creatively as possible. I mean, Yesterday was a very busy day and trying to go to sleep was rough because my legs were hurting because I did so much. I really overextended myself yesterday with the cleaning up the room and then taking a shower because taking a shower on its own is super, super, super exhausting because it takes about an hour's worth of actual I'm in the shower time. So it's ugh. But I've still been trying to think as creatively as possible and trying to keep things fresh in my head, and that's good. So hopefully, definitely a thumbs up. Still trying to keep my game channel up and alive, and hopefully people will be, whichever corner the <coughs> little thing is there, if you check that out, you know, if you wanted to, definitely not going to force anybody. I mean, how could I? But still definitely past that though i guess it's going to be a shorter vlog that happens because i don't can't really think of anything else to talk about now so <laughs> i have opened up 24 hours worth of comments my community tab and i'm gonna thank 20 to 25 people probably much less i don't even think i have like 15 comment commenters so we shall see what happens but if I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Let's see, did I talk about mispronouncing and forgetting? Yeah, I'm probably going to forget where I'm going because with my fibromyalgia, even though I count an American Sign Language, I get lost all the time. Raining again. Thumbs up. Let me call up my Chrome after I make sure I'm obsessively centered. Or... 
after I obsessively make sure I'm centered, not obsessively centered. <clears throat> we have Relo DC. I sure hope I'm close. And Andres Kaiser. Thank you very, very much. Ali Shabiri. Thumbs up and thank you. Exit Bra. Thank you very much. Nerd Girl for Life. Thumbs up. Simon Peters. Greatly appreciated. Oh, my crown on my head is itching. I don't even know if that's called the crown, but that part where my head is itching. Nicholas Welty, thumbs up and thank you. Purple Dancer Lane, thumbs up. Ricardo Torres, greatly appreciated. Kathy Kitzkat, thumbs up and thank you. Constra Tricking, thumbs up and thank you. And Bailey Snyder, good to see you in the comments. We have Sebastian Ferris, thumbs up. Denial, greatly appreciated. Russian Timing, good to see you in the comments. It's rough right now, and hopefully you can hang on as best you can. Plankagast, thumbs up and thank you. Rhonda C, thumbs up and thank you very much. Shiny, actually with an exclamation point instead of an I. Pretty cool. Colin Reisnauer, greatly appreciated. And then we have Nighthawk, thumbs up and thank you. Ilari Bezubikov, I have no ideas, but thank you very, very much. Richie B76, thumbs up and thank you. Tim, thumbs up. And then Cody Smith, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Ice Damon. Wow, I actually had more people than I thought it was. Pretty cool. Definitely a thumbs up. <coughs> Bloody allergy. And, of course, after obsessively checking on the side, making sure my chair is balanced behind me, I'm close. That's fine. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or be on my Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you want to help me out but you didn't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. That would be cool if you could check that out. And if you wanted to help me out but didn't want to send money, I have an Amazon wishlist link down below as well for things like hamster food, hamster bedding, cat food, silly things, not silly things. If you could check it out, that would be very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them on the bank of my heart. <coughs> or I draw interest. So thank you very, very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. And <coughs> hit that bell. That would be very cool and greatly appreciated. Again, I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now to literal end of time. I didn't mean to bend my finger. That looked weird. Anyway. So there's this video. I'm going to have another video for 3 o'clock-ish on this channel. I'm going to have a video for my game channel. And so definitely a thumbs up. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and maintain your social distancing. I know it's painful, but you know what's worse is watching someone in your family die. Trust me, as a widower, you don't want that.